Hi, welcome back to God's Golden Acres. I'm Kim. And this video, I'm going to be showing you how we planted this whole patch with over a thousand strawberries, and it was all done by hand. So it's bits, snip, bits and snippets, because it was so hot that we had to really focus on the strawberries and not filming. But I did try to film some, and within that process, we've also had a flu bug, and apparently we have a slick spot on our stairs, it's wooden, no carpet, and both me and my husband have fallen down the stairs in the last week. <laughs> so I have some pretty like major bruising on my tailbone, and then, I don't know if you can see it on my arm, it's really light bruising here, here, and a few scratches, because when I come down the stairs, I, I like hold onto the wall because it comes up into the middle of a hallway. So I grabbed the wall and then I reached down and grabbed the railing. I slipped on that second step and my hand was still on the wall. So I basically went straight down first and then scraped up my arm. And then I well, went down the stairs and bruised my tailbone. So this has been a process of getting it done. Oh. So enjoy this video. Good. This whole row yesterday, they're hard to see. And then it rained last night, so it took us a couple hours. There's about 70 in this row. And I've been here about a half hour, and I'm almost halfway. Just because it is so much faster. That's our measuring tool to get them all about 18 minutes, inches apart. But it's so much faster now that the underneath of the ground is soft. Because we were watering yesterday as we went along, but just... You couldn't get it soft enough, and inch and a half of rain, inch, half an inch of rain everywhere really did the trick, and this is so much faster. And that's a blessing, because I have about 900 more strawberry plants to plant in the next couple of days. <laughs> Are you helping me plant strawberries? Are you getting piggyback ride? <laughs> Thanks, baby girl. All right, we're finally all in, and I have 15 rows of about 70. So it's a little over a thousand, and then we're even giving some away. So we ordered a thousand. Sometimes they send you a couple extra, and of course, not literally every plant is going to make it. So we'll probably have a couple spots that are a little bit bare, but because I planted them a few days apart, there actually is a pretty good progression of showing you how they can grow right now. So the rows we did were slightly like out of order. So we started here. So these guys are doing the best. They're not leggy at all. Same with these guys over here. They're growing one good. And that next row over. And then we went this way. <laughs> And that's simply just because it was easier to water this way. So we saved the harder in to water spots for last. And the faster I got, the more time I had to water every night and then every morning. So next we planted these rows. They're not very leggy at all either. And neither is this row. Here's where we start to get a little leggy, but they're doing pretty good. And of course, you know, less leaves because they haven't sprouted any new. They've just um, greened up what they had. This lit, this row is probably doing the worst. I planted it in the morning one morning. And it, it really did need to go overnight to just settle and be nice and soaked because it got just too hot. We're already needing to get grass and weeds out, but it really is doing fairly well. But you can see where, like, these couple seem to not be doing as well. And our soil is a little... It, we didn't till it, so it's not bad. And then we put, like, soil with them and put the big chunks on top. So the soil in around the roots is looser. Because you can see, for the most part, this row is doing good. But there's a couple bad ones. Those rows were planted the next night. 
and they're doing pretty good. And come over here, and this is where we start to get a little bit leggy. So, but they are getting nice and green, just a little bit long, and they'll put out new leaves from the center, and then they'll be fine. So these guys are doing good. Same with these here. And you can see like these guys are, you know, on the next row, just a little bit leggier. And then actually this row, for some reason, isn't as leggy. I'm not really sure what that went. And then this is the row I just planted. We also just retilled this row. So it was the softest because it was just always too wet to till these rows, unfortunately. So they took a lot more work. But then this row tilled beautifully because this is over a thousand row. <laughs> and we added this row because we originally had 14 and then, well, you know, it turns out we needed another one. So all the white right here will start to turn red, like you're seeing over here. And this one, this leaf will probably die. This will become the leaf that supports this plant while it then creates new leaves out of its crown. And these will do that too. They have been unusually hot. So they're kind of struggling. We ordered them. They're like, oh, it's a little late to plant strawberries. But we're going to risk it and get a strawberry bed in for next year. We ordered, you know, and you're looking ahead at the forecast, right? And you're like, typical, about 80 degrees. All right. And then by the time it comes in, 90s. And not at just 90s, like high 90s. All the week that we were planting this whole field. Which was a struggle. So it was hard to pace, right? Because you're hot. You have to get water. You have to make sure you're taking care of yourself. It was hard on the plants because it was just too hot for them getting started. And then it was hard to keep things watered because it was so hot and so bright. And, you know, a full field, it takes time to get in and then mulched. And we are looking at buying a mulcher because we have straw and hay. It's just not mulched down to a nice level to then like till between the rows to help keep weeds down. So it was a struggle. It really was. But they're in now. So I have a little sprinkler system which we've been using the water in the morning and then we spot water in the evening to make sure because it gets dry by afternoon, right? So it's still moist underneath but we don't want to germinate plants on top. So with it getting dry we can justify the slight ease of using the sprinkler system. And then we'll spot water. And we'll only do that for a couple more weeks while we get straw in to cover the rows and to get through this heat. Because we're still in it kind of, but this next week looks like high 70s and low 80s. So we should have a much better week keeping them watered. And most of them are doing well anyway. And in a few weeks, which this needs weeded terribly, but in a few weeks, they should start to look like this plant here. We'll have to still pick blossoms a little bit, but then we'll start getting runners to fill in between. Because that's what these plants are doing right now. So they'll send out these little runners and create what's called daughter plants. Thanks for being with us today. I gotta go water and holding a camera and holding a hose all at the same time and figuring that all out, not always the easiest. So I'm gonna let you go here. Thanks for being with us. God bless.